channel. This is in the middle, and tonight we're talking about corseting. Yes, corseting can give you an instant figure change. A tighter looking waist, a trimmer looking figure, and I love it. Now, why would you choose to corset? Maybe you just don't have that curvy body shape that you'd like and you want to have it. And this is one of the things that you can do to achieve that. I do also recommend hitting the gym too. So, in addition to that, corseting gives you that instant curves that everybody loves. Now, if you're going to become a serious waist trainer or if you just want to experience a little bit corseting for maybe looking forward to your wedding day or something like that, then you might want to know a little bit about corseting. And if you should start with something basic like a typical off-the-rack corset or if you want to go something more to a custom level. So let's talk some more about that. Now, what I'm wearing here is a basic of the rack corset. It's a mesh black one, obviously, as you can see. And uh, since I live in a hotter weather climate, a mesh corset is essential in a corseting wardrobe for me. If you live in a colder climate, this might not be something that you're interested in having. But let's take a look at a few more. <laughs> well, before we even talk about getting your first corset, you're gonna need to take your measurements first. The most important one is obviously your waist. Uh, your first corset should be about a four to six inches lower than your natural waist. If you're under, say, 34 inches, you probably want to do about 4 inches. If you're, you know, maybe around 46 inches natural waist, you could probably do a 6 inch drop for your corset length because and also, uh, any water that you have stored in your body, your organs and stuff, they'll kind of like slide down in there. And some people say, oh, this is bad, but your organs move when you do things like this, when you do sit-ups, when you work out, when you run, and not to mention when a woman gets pregnant. Ugh! <laughs> I've never been through that, so I'm not even going to try to talk about that. But yes, it does put some compression on there, and it also can help if you have a bad back or if you even have bad posture, because it can help you keep that upright position and help you from hurting your back any further. Now, let's take a, look, take a look at some of the other corsets that I have. Why don't we take a look at them? This is an off-the-rack corset I also got. This was one I just got off eBay or something like that. This is kind of like my sleeping corset. You know, white is very hard to keep clean, especially if you wear it on the outside. So, or, you know, it can still be used for wearing underneath, you know, once you find, you know, you also have to consider once you buy a new corset, you have to season it, which means you have to let the corset get used to you too. So we'll go through that in a different time, but... Now, from basic off the rack ones, let's go up to the next step, which is kind of a mid-range one. This is one I got from JC Creations. Uh, they are the people that 
do a lot of the corsets for uh, Kathy Young, and she's the uh, current record holder for the smallest waist, and they do a lot of her corsets. Of course, I've seen videos that she actually has uh, a bust of herself made so that they can perfectly match it to uh, her curves and everything like that. I'm sure they could do that for you if you wanted to, but this is one I got on sale that's pretty close to my measurements. Uh, they're located in Amsterdam and this one really fits me pretty nicely too and it's very well made very satiny it has a cotton lining a waist strip double boned it is a very nice corset and i've had this one for several years and it has done me well and now the final one we're going to take a look at is a completely custom one. This is the newest one in my collection and it's from Huimont and it's a completely custom corset. Now there's some companies that do semi-custom corsets as and you choose your fabrics and if you want some trim or something like that but these ones are completely made to measure means that it's custom made to fit you and nobody else and everything these things are really nice and these ones they're not double bone but the bones it has as many as the other ones but they're spread out to give you more comfort and they're sturdier bones by the back and there's a modesty panel on this and this is brooch I think they call it it's a special corseting material that even in the uh, days when the corset was pretty much uh, something that every woman uh, not had to wear, but it was pretty much like the custom to wear these especially for middle class and upper class women. So, and uh, custom corsets are, of course, a lot more expensive, even with a good deal and a referral from somebody. This one was well over $500. Even the one that I'm wearing now is, uh, I think it was about between 50 and $60 depending on if there's a sale or not or if you go to uh, Lucy's Corsetry channel I'll put the link down below on this video and because she helped me to pick out my first custom corset maker and she really knows just about everything there is to know about corseting today and she's talked with doctors and corset makers and everything so if you're a hardcore corseter, a tight lacer, a serious waist trainer, I really do recommend that you check out your channel. This is basically, you know, my corseting adventure and the adventures that I've had with certain companies that I've ordered from and how they've worked for me. So that's what I'll be talking about. But, you know, I do love corseting. I love the shape that it gives me. I do feel that it feels safe for me because when I put my corset on, I only put it 
so tight is that I feel the compression and then after about an hour it kind of feels like it's almost too loose. So I tighten it up a little bit more and then if I'm in it for another hour I tighten it up a little bit more and as you go through it you've got to be in touch with your body and let it talk to you too and make sure you're not going too fast there's uh, books out there too you can read more on corseting and this is just the first of one of my many corseting videos to come i'm going to do some ones on corset liners, how to protect your corsets, how to hang them, how to take care of them. And this is Cindaville. Please like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, leave me a comment down below to see what other things you want me to do here. And I'll be in touch. Peace, love, and Good night, kisses to you all.